Hello, everyone. I hope everyone is doing well. Hope everyone will have a great Shabbos Haggadah. Look forward to seeing everyone who will be here in Shul over Shabbos for davening for the Shabbos Haggadah Drasha, which is entitled, Is Treif Matzah Kosher? And other thoughts for a meaningful Seder. And I look forward to spending lunch with everyone who has signed up for the Shabbos Haggadah Luncheon. Uh, this week's Arab Shabbos video is Torah is sponsored by Yechi Ruvain. Yishikach, and thank you for the sponsorship. Uh, in this week's video, Dvar Torah, we're going to talk about Kaddish. And in particular, the most important line of Kaddish, Yehei Shmei Rabbah Mevarach Le'olam Omeil Ma'ayah. Yehei Shmei Rabbah, Yehei Shem Agadol, may his great name, Hashem's great name, Mevarach, may be blessed, Le'olam Omeil Ma'ayah, forever and ever. The Gemara implies that this is the most important response of all of Davni, greater than Baruch Hu, greater than Kedusha, uh, Yehei Shmei Rabbah is the most important. So what is so special about Yehei Shmei Rabbah? So before we um, try to uh, suggest an explanation for that, let us focus on a different question. And that is, why is Kaddish written in Aramaic? Uh, basically, all of our Davni, uh, certainly from Chazal, is in Hebrew. So why is Kaddish uh, in Aramaic, and that is part of the reason why we're not as familiar with it. We don't perhaps realize what all the words mean uh, as much as other parts of Daphne. Why is it in Aramaic? And Tostos asks this question in Mesachas Brachos Gimel Amad Aleph and provides two different answers that at first glance are very different. Tostos' first answer is, it's quote, She tefilas na v'shevach gadol, that Kaddish is such a beautiful and great praise of Hashem. And it was therefore written in Aramaic, Shalayavinu Hamalachim, so the angels should not understand it. and should be jealous of us. Our sages had a tradition that the angels understand the other languages, including Hebrew, but the angels don't understand uh, Aramaic. And therefore, uh, this prayer, Kaddish, which is such a holy special prayer, uh, and the angels would be jealous that they cannot say it because it's something that it goes beyond the angels, so therefore we hide it from the angels. And indeed, there are many who see in Kaddish this great mystical, uh, uh, heavenly, spiritual prayer that there are these uh, incredible mystical intentions to include. We're talking about uh, praising and blessing the name of God. The opening call, Yiskadal v'yiskadash, may his name be made great and holy, comes from a pasuk in Yechezka referring to the end of days, the war of Gog and Magog. So on the one hand, Kaddish is this uh, this incredible, heavenly, uh, spiritual, mystical prayer invoking God's name, blessing God's name, and therefore it must be an Aramaic to hide it from the angels um, since it goes beyond their capability. On the other hand, Tosos writes that there's a different reason why Kaddish is in Aramaic, and that is because Kaddish was meant to be something that everyone could say. As the Gemara says, that when Hashem sees, Bishashi Yisrael nechnas labati knesis bati medrash, when the masses, the community, enter into the shoals in the bati medrash, and they declare Yehesh Shmei Rabbah, Hashem says, Ashri HaMelech Shemakal Sunaso, how fortunate is the king myself that I have children who praise me as such. And Tosus explains, Sheo Ame there were there were uneducated people. Vlohai Mevinu Kulanashu Kodesh, they didn't know Hebrew. They couldn't say any other, anyone, anything else in Davening. Lekach Tik Nuhu Balashan Targum, Sheo Asan. So therefore they enacted the Shemini so that everyone should understand it. The, our sages wanted something that everyone could say. The person with the, 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 least Jewish education, the, the weakest background, who didn't know how to daven anything else, but at least they should be able to daven and respond to Kaddish. So in this answer, Kaddish is seen as kind of the most basic, uh, the simplest prayer. It's as if God, excuse me, as if the sages enacted that something should be in English so that people who don't know Hebrew, who don't, who haven't learned, they should know how to say at least something. Kaddish is the bare minimum. It's not this great mystical declaration that one has to master the secrets of the world to declare. No, just the opposite. It's, it's, it's the simplest declaration. It's in English. It's in Aramaic. It's for everyone, even people who don't know Hebrew, for them to recite and say as part of Daphne. So which is it? Is Kaddish this so high, lofty, heavenly, mystical prayer? Or is it this most basic, translated uh, most common denominator prayer for the uneducated masses? And the answer is, is that it is both. And that is what is so unique, and that is part of the mystery and secret of Kaddish. Let us look at um, the uh, first few uh, 
uh, lines of Kaddish, and again, we don't think about it as much since it is in Aramaic. The Chazan declares, Yiskadal v'yiskadal Shmerabah, may his name be made great and holy. Bi'alma divarach l'rusei, in this world that he created, kir kirtsono, according to his will. V'yamlich machusei, may he be declared king. V'chayichon, v'yamichon, in our lives, v'chayyeh d'chobes Yisrael, and in the lives of Israel. V'agalav z'man kariv, quickly, speedily, V'yamru amen, and say amen, and to that we respond, Yehei shmei rabbah mevarach, may his great name be blessed forever and ever. What does it mean that we ask, we call, that Hashem's name should be made great and holy? Be'alma divarach l'rusei, in this world that he created, according to his will. Just say, in this world, or just generally. Some of the commentators explain that this is to allude to the fact that we really don't know why God created this world. We really don't know what he needs from it, what he wants from it. Why would he want uh, the praises that come from a mouth of flesh and blood, um, that, that we are selfish and we sin and we are limited. We cannot fathom or see or understand what angels can. We are, we are not pure and holy as them. We, we, are, we are dirty compared to them. And yet God wants to hear our praises. Why did he create this world? We really don't know. We can't understand it. It is unfathomable. It is only due to his inscrutable will. The only thing we know is, is that God created this world and God created us because that is what he wants. That is what he desires. And that is what Kaddish is about, that, that we say, we don't know why, but for some reason Hashem wants his name to be blessed. Hashem wants it to be declared in this world. In the world that this world that he created, that we can't understand why, other than to attribute it to his to his perfect will, will. It is something that the angels cannot understand. It is hidden from the angels. They cannot fathom from it that Hashem would want to hear praises from lowly us. And that is why it's so important that Kaddish can be understood and recited by everyone, even those who do not understand Hebrew. Because the point is, it's not just the, the wisest and the holiest and most perfect that can praise God. For that, Hashem has angels. Hashem wants to hear praises from those who struggle, from even those or especially those who don't have a strong Jewish education, who may not understand the rest of the prayers that are in Hebrew. But that even such a person sees Hashem, praises God, wants to make a Kiddush Hashem with his life or her life, wants to make sure that Hashem's name is blessed in this world in the way that he or she lives his life in this world. That is what Kaddish is about. And that is what we all gather together to declare that Hashem, we seek, we strive to live lives that through our actions and by our mouth, we declare that your name should be blessed in this world and this world specifically. That is a secret. That is what the angels cannot understand that Hashem's desire descends to this world, that Hashem's greatest honor is in this world, that is something loftier than the angels can reach. That is the secret of Kaddish. Every time we hear Kaddish, the Chazan speaking the name of Hashem is calling out, Hashem is saying, I want you. I want to be blessed, not by the angels, but by you. I want my name to be sanctified and blessed and made holy and great in this world. Will you do that for me? Hashem calls out to us. And to that we respond, yes, may his great name be blessed forever and ever in the world above and even more so in the world below. Good Shabbos, everyone, and Shabbat Shalom.